Hi right, everyone, welcome back to U77. Here we are, our weekly patrol log. You'll have to forgive me, it's been two weeks since I've actually been in-game, obviously due to my holiday, uh, so I may be a little bit rustier than usual. So, oop, just squatting down there. Um, I'll just come over here so we don't have any um, unfortunate accidents. Right, so welcome back. As I said, uh, we are patrolling well, we're moving down to the um, Florida area, as you remember from the last one, where we're going to try and get a resupply. We were denied a resupply in the Gulf of Mexico. So I'll show you where we are. So we were up here when we uh, raided that port and all, all that kind of thing. We're up there. Uh, we've now come down south. A couple of things to tell you about. First, Tanker Alley. Boom. This is now popped up. This is the, the, the other um, submission in the Operation Drumbeat. The American Eastern Seaboard is the choke point for all tanker traffic coming from the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, going north to fuel the New England, uh, going north to fuel the New England states or join the convoys bound for Great Britain. Such a concentration of tankers in an almost defenseless environment gives us the opportunity to cut the fuel of the Allied war machine uh, for years to come. So this is our new mission. The, the ha second happy time is still available up there but we've completed that. I know we've completed that because when you exit out it tells me we've got more than enough tonnage for that. So we're going to be concentrating around this area here, uh, sort of the Florida area and um, trying to hunt down some tankers which should be nice. Um, I did also got an interesting message which I kept, which was probably a few days ago now. Oh yes it was. That's how long it's taken to get down here. Have I lost it? Oh, I might have lost it. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, never mind. It was basically about um, the uh, BDU asking the question, how do the uh, Allies always know where the refueling stations are going to be, the the, um, the subs and the, uh, the ships that come to rearm and refuel. Um, and they were talking about maybe if you, if subs are spotted in areas of low traffic, that's where they come to those assumptions, which I thought was quite interesting. I was going to share it with you, but that's gone, so um, never mind. Right, we're down here, and as you can see, we've only got three torpedoes. So uh, let's see if we can request some resupply. Excellent. Over here. Good, it's not a million miles away. Excellent, right. Thank you, Wolfram. Well done. We're going to head to resupply now, and we'll get that done quickly. And then, obviously, we, we, good news is it's in the same reasonably similar area, so we can just sort of concentrate around here when we come back. Um, quickest way through there. I think we're probably going up here than down. I know that probably doesn't seem the quickest, but when you're not really sure how well these Blooding little cars. islands and stuff Blooding are plotted cars. in game, Blooding it cars. sometimes is easy just to stay in the deeper water. Good, right, we'll do that, we'll move on, we'll go and uh, rearm, or try and rendezvous if it's still there and hasn't been bombed by the Allies, uh, and I'll bring you straight back. Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we have made our rendezvous. So, um, with the tanker just at our stern. Hello boys, hello. Get your goodies and bring them on board. Right, let's get a refit done. Refit complete, let's do a double check. Um, yeah, oh, lots of steam torpedoes. We've got electric torpedoes and a ladder search pattern torpedo being loaded there. A ladder sort pattern torpedo there, and obviously we already had that one in place, and electric there. Uh, so not a bad mix. Uh, quick check on uh, everything else, fuel is looking good, subsystems, how are we doing? We've still got that, still needs a bit of repair. And we've got the um, watertight bulkhead needs a bit of work there. 
We've got the um, stern drive plane structural integrity and the stern buoyancy tank. And what was this? This was the radio room compartment uh, water seat, watertight seals. And down here, ooh, um, buoyancy tank again. So yeah, we got a few dings and dongs on the old um, on the old ship. Good news is leadership is five stars or five circles. And crew morale and efficiency is also up to five circles. So you know, getting a getting some mail from home, you know, the, a, a banana and um, a, a nice sweet drink or something, has really perked the morale up. And look, has he had a shave? Kinda. He's still got a bit of a scruffy beard coming. Right. Anyway, so we have resupplied. That is Operation. Well, objective should I say? Not really an operation. Uh, one done. Um. Let's sort of come this way then, and we'll pluck, pick our way through these islands. Or oh, is that going to be a bit of a nightmare? That might be a bit of a nightmare. Um, yeah, let's go two speed for the moment while I'm working this out. Uh, see, I don't know how well these islands are created in game, if you know what I mean. So it might be the case. Oh, we've got a ghost indicator of a ship coming up there. There's no indication of where it. Well, we might as well come and say hello just in case. Uh, and then I'm going to skirt cars. these islands. And we're going to come through the, the deeper sections just for the Plutting sake of cars. ease. Plutting cars. Plutting cars. Plutting cars. And of course, if we do run into something, we've then got the opportunity to escape in these deeper sections of water. Right, the bottleneck is here. This is where they want us to. So we're perfect. Uh, perfectly ready to do an ambush there. Right. Only a short drive, hopefully. And uh, then we should be on the lookout for any tankers or any allied uh, shipping. And um, blast away. Excellent. Right. We'll head off. And I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. We have found the enemy. So we've rearmed, as you saw, and we've now made it back here. We just sort of we came from where the resupply there was, came through here, coming down here, done a bit of a troll, and look, um, actually I actually made it all the way down here, but then we picked up some contacts and we came blatting back up here, and uh, you can see where I've been plotting these ships coming in. Um, they do seem to be slightly. Well, there's one ship was plotting. There may be two ships now, by the looks of things. Another one behind her. Um, just as I was setting up up here, and the ship, or oh, that ship was coming up here, a um, a destroyer came this way. Thankfully, didn't detect us, and you can see its signal coming up there. And just now, we've just had a, a signal north of us. So there's quite a uh, this is quite a busy shipping lane indeed. So. Um, it's dark, the seas are a little bit rough, so we should be okay from visibility to get the old periscope up without too much risk to uh, us being seen. So we're sitting here, there we go. Uh, right, directly in front, so they should be over here somewhere. The gamma is up, but it's still incredibly dark. Let's get the uh, periscope up as high as we can for the moment. We're still underwater, which is wonderful. There we go. Uh, anything? Any smoke? Can you see? It's probably going to be about from over here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, they're a little bit far away from us at the moment, so maybe we'll let a bit of time pass, and hopefully. Uh, They'll uh, come into our visual range. Okay, this ship is now showing on the uh, on the map and visual range, which is interesting. Uh, another development is we've got a ship coming this way. And another one. I mean, wow, this has turned into a very busy piece of um, land in a minute. I, there's that ship. I can't quite... S oh, whoa, hang on. There's two ships there. The waves are... So this is... That's the ship we've been tracking, and there's a ship behind her. But over here, 
there's another one. My goodness, what is this? Let's start locking these on and identifying them to see what we've got here. Um, that's a coastal boat. Oh, we're not really interested in that at all. Um, that's going to be only a thousand tons or something. Where's these ships gone over here? Here we go. What's this one? No, oh, you stupid thing. I clearly marked that one. You could hear him say target marked and then he took it all the way back. Oh, because we lost visibility of that one, did we? There we go, that, and it's gone back to it now. Oh my goodness, this game. Right, that is. He says, waiting for the... Uh... Tracking new target. It's an old split freighter. Is that the front one? Yeah, I think so. Yes, it is. Okay, that's an old split freighter. So we're going to concentrate on that one then. Oh my goodness me. Uh, range, we'll just do by the old... Um... Majita here thingy here is two five so two and a half kilometers at the moment oh wow uh, hang on let's just type this damn thing it'd be far quicker there we go so we can just get the um, speed I work I've already worked that out at six knots so there we go angle of bow we can wait till it gets a little bit closer oh my goodness me right so we've got Two ships coming in this way. We got this little coastal boat just trawling behind us, and we got New something else up here. Plus, we got so warships over away. here. Bearing one, four, nine. Yeah, it's uh, it's got very busy all of a sudden. It's um like buses. You wait all day for something to happen, and not they all turn up at once. Um, so yeah, this is going to be our target. Oh, hang on, we've lost it. There she is. Uh, what do we have in the torpedo? Tubes. We have torpedo tubes one and no, just one. We have a steam torpedo. Two and four, we have a ladder search pattern torpedo, and three, we have the electric torpedo. Yeah. Hmm. Closing tube five. There we go. We've got the other ship is now in visual range. What is it? Select it via that. Can we do that? No, it's gone out of visual range apparently. No, it's back. Target marked. It's a tanker. Ooh. It's a small small oil tanker. That might be a better shot. That is closer. You can see that this this side of the line. And bearing in mind we are 450. Do you know what? I'm actually going to back up a bit. New contact, warship, moving Make slow, sure the rudder's straight. Bearing one, six, one. The rudder straight. Rudder zero. Minimum speed back. So we rudder do go straight zero. back rather than um, go back zero. at a jaunty angle. Um, and we've got to be rudder careful not to zero. come into the course of this ship. Oh, it's all got a bit tricky all of a sudden. Okay, here's the old medium split. It's got a bit closer now. Um, let's just do a quick... Uh, distance measurement to it from us which is what 1250 and we lose it wonderful Target marked. so that's uh, currently standing at uh, 1250 um, you can see it's a shallow ship anyway and she's bobbing quite heavily around on the uh, on the waves so and we're struggling to keep a, a lock on her. Target marked. Right, angle of bow we can calculate now because she's close enough that it won't change too much. Angle of bow is currently 36. Brilliant. Thanks. Come on, game. Get these bloody waves. Tracking new target. Angle about was 36. That's probably ticked on a bit now. Let's go 38. Uh, and we're going to go shallow because um, you, can, to you can see meters. she's all sorts of up in the air. Um, in Torpedo Tube 3 we have the electric. So that's the one we might actually go with. 
She can't adjust the speeds, and, and the Torpedo Tube 1, we can adjust the speed, so we stick that to fast. Uh, we can always have a backup. So we're going to flood 3. Oh, we'll flood 1 as well, actually. Where's that other ship? She's roughly there. We keep losing her. She's popping in and out of visibility. These two warships are getting stronger in their signal. Oh, it's got very packed all of a sudden. Alright, distance to target is 950 meters. Target. Oh, for God's sake. I'll put that down to 900 by the time we reacquire. It's incredibly choppy, isn't it, on the old sea? The old swirls of the waves making it extremely challenging. But on the same token, it's also making it near impossible for them to um, see target. our periscope because obviously the waves we is hiding it nicely. I'm just going to do a quick calculation make sure everything else is still looking about right. So 50, 56 was that? 55, that's not too bad, happy with that. Uh, so if we do a range from there to about there, it's going to be 800 meters. So we pop that down to 800 meters, which is probably where, roughly where we're going to be firing, judging by how everything's working out. Damn, we've lost her. There she is. Okay, I think we've got one more revelation. Revelation? Revolution. <laughs> it's a revelation to me. Oh, we still got to wait here, but uh, come on, waiting for the gyro angle to tick down. We've lost her again. Okay, it's calculated. Right, supercomputer says fire very shortly. I know I was going to wait for the tanker, but in all essence, we. we Fire. Right, let's get steam loaded in there. Torpedo away. The other ship is coming in now. It's okay. Whether or not we're going to get a good contact is, a, is another matter. Of course, the wave blocks the. Uh... Sounds good. There we go. She's gone. Maybe they think it's just a large wave that's gone over. Okay, that is an old split sent to the bottom. Where's... God. Where's the other ship? There it is. It's there apparently. Target marked. Maybe they didn't see that. Maybe they don't see that. Right, Twitter Tube 1 is loaded. This is incredibly shallow ship. Look at that. Uh, what else do we have? We have a ladder search pattern. In two and four. It's not what I want to. F In fact, maybe that is what Closing I want to fire. Flooding tube one. Flooding tube two. I've lost it. Where is she? There she is. Um, she's obviously do doing her dodgy, dodgy maneuvers. Her dodging maneuvers. Angle of bow is currently. Uh, ninety. Seventy-three and. Uh, Currently changing. Ooh, 
What? Why does this keep recessing? Oh my goodness me! Stop it! Stop it! Making a challenging thing, or more, much more challenging. Keep Target using marked. it. Yeah, uh, where's we got a ship behind us? Actually, let's have a look at that one because. Oh my god, what's going on? It's so choppy, I can't see anything. Right, um... There she is. Target marked. Oh, that really is a coastal boat. That's a fishing boat. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not going to pay any heed to that whatsoever. Well, I'm interesting to know what this would be. But, um... Yeah, that tanker is... Target marked! Yeah, it may be the case that we do our usual thing of uh, just letting her settle down before we make her strike. Um, we could have maybe waited and try and get two sh shots away. We've got another ship coming in. This is, this is the point. This is the spot, boys. Where is this? Uh, just near Miami. Oh, we've been to Miami, haven't we? We raided Miami. Um, this is the spot, obviously, for um, a bit of ship sinking. And they're all here. All the boys are here. Right, let's... Minimum speed ahead. Minimum speed ahead. Hopefully he's going to come around this way and we can maybe take a pot shot at him. Uh, in the meantime... Torpedo impact, there we go. A medium old split freighter for 5,289 tons. Taking us to 39 ships sunk, 5,420 5, tons of warship tonnage, 270,241 merchant tonnage, for a total of 275,661 tons. A ridiculous amount of tonnage, if I do say so myself. Right. Um, obviously, I can't really get a shot off at this angle. It'd be a waste of a torpedo. So, um, can I just stand? Closing tube. One. Let's go. Closing tube. Two. Two. Let's go. Close. We'll just um, stand them down for the moment. And... Uh, and yeah, uh, we'll, we'll try and chase this Close tanker. We've also got these two other ships coming in, so um, yeah. Interesting times. This could get quite busy very soon. So, um, let's say, we're going to follow this this tanker, see what she does. And uh, she's only a small tanker. I know we're supposed to be shooting tankers anyway, but she's incredibly shallow. Look how shallow she is. She only, a draft only goes down about 4 or 5 metres. 4.5 metres, look at that. It's an incredibly shallow draft for a tanker, in my opinion, anyway. Not that I know anything about these things, but, yeah. Anyway, right, we're going to stalk her, and um, I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Okay, here we are. We've managed to get her back. Um, she's almost right in front of us. Distance. 600 meters. Oh, she's coming at a funny old angle to us. Hang on. Ah, no! Why didn't you click? 47. Angle about. Ah, no... Stop messing around and just 49. I'll do 800 meters, six knots. Brilliant. What we got? Torpedo tube Closing one is tube steam two. flood. Flooding tube one. The, the vessel. Fire. Tube one. We got another one coming in. She may be a bit close. We shall see. came out of the darkness obviously we we went below so we didn't actually get 
Get in. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Oh, we are the pinball wizard. Look at that. And there's another ship. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, Try my goodness. What's that? Passenger freight ship. Oh, we'll have a go. We'll have a go. We're going to guess it's doing six knots. I don't know. Where is she? She's over here. So there's that first ship sunk. We've now just sunk this one here. No time to hang around. We've got another one who's now just thinking, what the hell just happened over there? So she's currently heading of 57. Not heading. Angler bow, I meant. New contact, warship, moving slow, closing, bearing. I bet they're closing. Four, long range. Right, it's a passive bearing, da, 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 range we can calculate uh, now. Oh my goodness, look at all those blue lines. There's four of them. They're all descending upon me. 1300. Hello? Oh, it's the burning ship. <laughs> what did, it's like a ghost ship getting in the way. Um, let's get another steam load into torpedo tube one. We will go with Torpedo Tube 3, because that's got a steam in it. I'm going to have to wait for this husk of a burning ship to get out of our way. In your own time. So don't forget about me. I may be going to the bottom soon, but I still want my time on the TV. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh. Brilliant! They've they've deployed a smoke screen. New contact, merchant, moving fast, moving away, bearing thirty-three, medium range. Oh, there she is! I see her. Right. Tracking new um. Range was thirteen hundred, wasn't it? We better recalculate that again now. But let's just come into here just so we can get a bit of a clearer see of it all. So range is now 1100, angle of bow is 67, 66, oh shark, metal shark, look at that, oh, let's just do a scrap of um, thing, right, right, okay, right, hang on, calm down everyone, calm down, so torpedo tube 3, let's, why have we not locked onto her? We, we'd already identified her, but for some reason we'd lost that. Okay. So we've now got her, her depth and her keel depth. Um, torpedo New tube contact, 3. Warship, slow, We're going to go shallow again because of the choppiness five, of the water. Range. I can hear um, the crew from the tanker. Um, Calling for help, which is quite haunting in a way. Let's go medium. Ooh, medium speed, fast speed, medium, sp medium. There they are. Hi, boys. Shh, you don't see us, right? We might come and pick you up or give you some uh, spirits to keep you warm. Although, with all these blue indications that there's four destroyers descending upon our location, uh, we might not be so merciful. Distance is now 750. Didn't mean to do that one. Prepare to fire. Uh, we might also get torpedo tube 2 flooded just as a, a quick runner to uh, have a shot. Too far, two, three at. Oh no, it's going medium speed. Can be six fifty by the time we get there. Stand by to fire. Fire. 
dun 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 It's like a Jaws, isn't it? Ooh, she's gone. Oh my goodness, that is some good gunnery or torpedo shooting today. I'm quite pleased with that. That's three torpedoes, three ships. Ain't no one going to argue with that. Fantastic. Right, first of all, well done everyone. Well done. We've got another contact. Oh, here we go. They're just coming out of um, Miami, aren't they? Uh, okay, yeah, There's we, we've pretty much signposted where we're going. So let's get out of here. Um Yeah, let's just um let's go actually let's go this way. Go away from the area. Right, and we can do a quick recount of what we've just scored. So we knew we'd just hit the um the old split, that was the first ship we sunk. Then second was a small oil tanker. For 2,781 tons. What was the old split? Just out as a matter of interest. Five thousand. So that was the right decision to go for the uh, the old split. For the first shot. And we've just now sunk a passenger and freight ship. For 1,705 tons. Takes us up to 41 sh ships sunk. Difficult to say. Um, no change on the warship tonnage. But our merchant tonnage is now shot up to two. 174,727 tons total tonnage of 280,147 tons that is amazing absolutely amazing three wrecks in quick succession there's the uh, the remains of the tanker just a few bits and flotsam and jetsam and the uh, abandoned crew and that will soon to be um, repeated there's the flotsam and jetsam there's the crew, and there's that ship sinking. So, from U77, on a successful day on our patrol log, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, you know what to do. Show some love, hit that thumbs up, add a comment, and uh, I'll bring you some more next week. So thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time.